he's getting to the stage now where he's had so many fights that it can start getting a little bit iffy if they ship too many punches. But so far, he still seems compass But I'll be, as I told you before, I'll be relieved when he gets to his 100. And hopefully, touch wood, he's in good shape and, 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 he, and he'll be all right. But I won't be too sad to see the, uh, to see the end of his fighting career now. A lot of the fighters, the top level fighters, find it hard to let go, and I'm sure the journeymen do too, you know, because they, whether they're being cheered or booed, there's bound to be some kind of adrenaline rush that they get when they come out from behind the curtain. And, you know, if they're in a hometown fighter's backyard, you know, they're going to be booed and stuff. And I mean, it might not be the reaction that you want. Some guys like Johnny thrive off that kind of stuff. You know, they, they, want, to be the, they want to be the villain of the piece, you know, and they want the booze, they want the, they want the reaction. And, you know, when you get that reaction, a reaction that you end up craving, you know, it's something that can be very hard to give up. It's like you want to test yourself. No, this kid ain't, this kid ain't going to hurt me. You know, you just, you want to get in there and, and prove to people that he's not going to hurt me. Once you've, once you've been in that ring and once you've become accustomed to the money, become accustomed to all the, the noise, the, the fans, the crowd, everything, it's, you can't just walk away. I can't see myself just walking away, you know. There's something special about the sport. You know, so yes, I completely understand, regardless, regardless who you are, as a, as a, what level you are as a fighter, it's very, very difficult to walk away. And yeah, man, like I said, I miss it every day, every day. You know, yesterday I had some uh, chicken breasts and all that, like, <laughs> and vegetables and stuff. But today I thought it was, you know, sod it. Listen, is, is one thing I can do, and that's fight, and that's so, you know, you've always got, you've always got the option there to, to carry on and fight again, but I think I'm done. I'm finished. And also on top of that, I'm looking forward to getting fucking fat. He's been there, seen it and done it, and I just think he should do the 100 and that's it, call it, call it a day. Really? He's not the fittest guy in the world. And when you're not the fittest guy in the world and you're, you're getting hit quite regularly, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a matter of time, if you like, before something goes wrong. And I'm just hoping that he realises that and steps out of the ring before his time is up. So he's still a good looking bastard. 